Okay, so I want to show you the same exam example as I did uh, in the previous video of to find uh, hot selling items on eBay. But I did the last video uh, how to do this for free without using any software. And I told you that I'm using uh, Zeek Analytics now because uh, now I have some capital and, and I'm making money on eBay. So I paying for this uh, software. So it's called uh, Zeek Analytics. Um, I will uh, leave a link down in the description for this, uh, this, uh, this software. So now I want to show you uh, my process. So if you want me to do a, a guide to how to use Zeek Analytics and how to set up all your preferences and settings on this um, software correctly and how I'm doing this, uh, so please uh, leave, your, leave your comments below and I will make this video. So in the previous video, what I showed you and I told you that I want to find good dropshippers on eBay and I want to snipe the items that uh, they sold at least three times in the past 30 days. Okay, so I will use the same setup as the uh, last example. Okay, it's Denmari UK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy his name. Okay. Now I'm here in Zeek Analytics and I clicked on competitor research. Okay, you click on competitor research and it will bring you to uh, this page and you want to paste the name here. You can uh, filter it by 30 days, uh, 21 days, 14 days, 7 days. It means that it will, uh, it will filter it by the days uh, that items were sold. So I want the past 30 days, so I click search. <clears throat> Okay, great. Now, also, Zeek Analytics gives you uh, uh, great information about the seller, so I can see what his his uh, revenue. So almost forty thousand, so it's nice. Uh, sold items almost three thousand, and he has uh, almost ten thousand items. And his sell through his sell through is uh, almost thirty thirty percent. So he is a decent decent seller, but not um, not that huge seller. So mm, okay, so the beauty of it, you don't need to go uh, like he has almost ten thousand items. You don't need to go over each item, and or like he sold in the past thirty days almost three thousand items. You don't need to go over each item and see if it's sold three times. Zeek uh, does this uh, for you and you can also filter the sales by, let's say our minimum is three sales in the last 30 days. So we click three and filter. And now it will uh, give us only the items that sold more than three times in the past 30 days. Okay, so we see that we have six pages, six pages of potential items to list on our uh, eBay store. So what I want to do, okay? So uh, another thing that uh, Zeke uh, does is you see this red, uh, uh, this green dot. So it, it links to, uh, links up to Amazon, but only to Amazon and uh, Amazon UK or Amazon.com as you wish. And you can, and you can click on this, okay, and it, it should give you the, yeah, you see, it, it gives you the link on Amazon, and it gives you the link on his eBay listing, and you can open both of them, okay. And you can see this is, this is his item.
okay and you can see that uh, this is the item on Amazon so we saw the, the previous uh, video uh, how much time it took me to do everything manually and this is what I'm talking about that uh, Zeek really helps me to speed up the process that I need to um, to find the items that uh, in my method you see so for example I want to see again that it actually sold in the past 30 days clicking on the 60 sold and yep clearly I can see that he's selling a lot of this item but I'm not sure about his profit here so uh, the price is 12.43 and let's do quick math Come on. Okay. Twelve point thirty-three. Forty-three. Forty-three. Minus fourteen percent. This is our fees. And minus uh, nine. 9.85 minus, minus 9.85 okay so his profit is uh, a little bit less than uh, one pound uh, so it means like a little bit uh, above uh, one dollar US dollar so uh, if you are starting out, uh, I suggest you to um, to start out out small with li like those items that uh, because the the high pr the higher price the items uh, the more profit you you uh, gonna make. But because of the PayPal jail, uh, when you are starting out uh, on eBay, and uh, PayPal gives you. Uh, put you a hold uh, for uh, 90 days until you become like a more experienced seller so I suggest you to start small with small uh, items that they are selling uh, much quicker and faster and also it will prevent you to uh, like you having a few thousand uh, pounds uh, tied up on uh, PayPal because you need to purchase the items <laughs> so we want to start small Yes, yeah, so this is my video guys uh, if you got more questions uh, You want me to make uh, more videos uh, About uh, another topics. So uh, please your uh, leave your comments below and if you find this uh, help helpful and you want to see more videos uh, like this so please Subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I, I will really really appreciate that And yeah, we will see you in the next video